During your time at Oregon, uh, it was the Pac-8 when you were there? <laughs> yeah. Um, we used to kid around say it was a Pac-4, you know, it was UCLA, <laughs> USC. You guys, the team you played for. Ronnie Lott and I used to go round and round and round, you know, the East Coast Ducks. He said, Trojans, a guy with a big sword versus a, an angry duck. you got to be kidding me. <laughs> did uh, So the one year you played college football, did you play at the Coliseum? You know, I, I don't remember. And it was probably because it was a painful experience, but I, I really don't recall. But I will say this one thing for, for USC. Now, first of all, North Turner, you're right. If it wasn't for North Turner, I would never have played in the National Football League. And um, and I did learn to love the game, too, by the way. And if it wasn't for a USC coach by the name of John McKay, I probably wouldn't have to be. That one year that I played against, he had an All-American linebacker. And I forget. Richard Wood, does that name sound oh. familiar? Oh, yeah, Batman. Yeah, Batman, thank you. Yeah, well, I had a pretty good game against Batman. I took him off the line of scrimmage and about 10 yards back and put him on his back. And Richard, if you're, if you're listening, I know you were just off balance or the sun got in your eyes or whatever, <laughs> but I have had a level of violence off the line of scrimmage that um, I, I was trying to match the linebackers, you know, uh, reputation. But John McKay, because of that game, he told a number of um, scouts, including Dick Steinberg, who was the head scout for the Patriots, this guy can play in the national football league. And, even though he didn't play his senior year, he's got four five, four six speed, um, and he's six six, two forty five, blah blah blah. Uh, as a tight end, he, and he likes to hit people. He, he doesn't mind blocking. So, if you need him for the rookie game, because Chuck Fairbanks out of Oklahoma was famous for his balance of uh, you know seventy percent run, thirty percent pass. So it was, a, 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 as I said, complex a combination. I've been writing a book for 30 years called Purely by Coincidence, and a lot of this stuff was purely by coincidence. And the people that lined up um, in my life to make those things possible. I mean, I wouldn't have been drafted in the first round if it wasn't for John McKay telling Steinberg and everybody else, because I didn't go to any of the pro uh, tryouts, and I didn't play in my senior year, so I was really a risk. And the Patriots drafted me, and I flew in the next day because my mother said, you're going to say no, which I went there to do, say no. Um, it was uh, it was a incredible experience to go to that first um, uh, press conference. But even before the press conference, somebody handed me a paper, and the front page of the Boston Club said large letters, big large letters, like World War II just got started. It said, Russ, who? Question mark. <laughs> Nobody ever heard of me. And I'd never heard of them, so it was even. Look, to hear you say you didn't even play your senior year, and then for John McKay to say those things, man, that's incredible. After your junior year at Oregon, and you're like, okay, I'm done, they had to put the full court press on you. Well, there was a a coaching change from Jerry Fry to Dick Enright, who was my coach my junior year, and then... He'd been there, I guess, my sophomore year, but my junior year. And then they, he found out that he was uh, being replaced by a coach by the name of Don Reed by his daughter who heard about it in school because their parents heard it on the radio or something. And so, the, yeah, they tried to you know, say, come back. And I said, I told you I'm not coming back. And besides, <laughs> you can't treat people this way. And, you know, always, <clears throat> always wearing my heart on my sleeve. But. It, I had made it clear that I wasn't, and I wasn't going to change my mind for for any reason. I really didn't have the time. I had a full load of classes. You know, I was um, you know going to be pitching. Um, I thought again for the uh, Emeralds, and I'd give it a, a shot. To, um, you know, into my senior year, I was pitching throughout the latter part of the summer and into the fall for the Royals before they drafted me, their team in Eugene. And uh, and classes, you know, I took summer classes. I was learning to fly. I mean, I just I didn't have time for football in my senior year. So that was the um, um, that was the decision that had been made and, and stuck with it. And as I look at it, really, you know, the minimum of years, and I preach this to high school fans all the time, 
don't let your kids get started in this full contact football too young. I mean, you know, I played 14 years in the National Football League. And I never hurt my knees, and I never sprained my ankle, and I never taped anything. I refused to tape these things. I was kind of a problem child for the training uh, thing. Um, and I never lifted weights. I ran uh, stairs every day, and I hit the sled every day, which was my weightlifting with every muscle firing in sequence. That's the way it's supposed to be when you're blocking. Not a bench press, not an over the head, whatever that is, uh, and curls and, you know, all that stuff. I, I wanted to be outside. I, wanted, I swam a lot in the off season. I swam during the season. So it was a little bit unorthodox, the training from the standpoint. Of, and I understand why the big guys need to lift weights. Don't get me wrong. And I understand why, you know, they take all these protein supplements. They're trying to build more body tissue. And I get it. But uh, I figured if I couldn't play with what uh, got to me, then uh, I'd have to uh, try something else, which, of course, would have hopefully been baseball. But um, So it was just it was, and it was a coincidence where I made the decision to stay out. I really didn't have the time to stay in at college. And, you know, I kept harping, you know, you're smarter than that. And I, sometimes yes, most of the times no, but... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna blame my mother for this. So you guys need to talk to my mother if you want me to come back here and play my senior. Nobody took them up on it because they heard about her strong will. 